Why complicate email marketing when it could be super simple? It's called Tiny Email, and it's gonna help you with your email marketing, your forms, and your automations. And it works on Shopify, Magento, and WooCommerce. So let me show you how right now. Getting started with email marketing is gonna be a breeze once you start using Tiny Email. Now on this video, I'm gonna show you how to get started with Tiny Email so you can start your automation and start sending out those email campaigns. Now let's jump over to the dashboard. Now, to get started, I would recommend that you get started with the integration. If you want to integrate with Shopify, Magento, WooCommerce, etc., we're going to do it from over here. So on the left menu, there's integrations and you can select e-commerce and you can integrate with, with these. Now, it's super easy to integrate. Once you select Shopify or WooCommerce, it's going to ask you for the link of your store. And once you open that, it's going to ask you to allow them to connect one with another. So obviously the contacts are ready and enabled on your tiny email system. Now, once you've done that, for example, in Shopify, I already connected to Shopify and I'm able to view the whole dashboard of email for tiny email. Now, if you want to set it up here, it's easy. Or if you want to do it over there on the main dashboard, it's also easy. Now, like I said, I'm already integrated and to view tiny email on Shopify, you have to search for tiny email here, for example, tiny email, and you're going to search for the app store. Once you're there, enable it, and you're going to view it right here in the apps. And here we go. So let's get started. Now, once you set that up, next thing you want to do is set up your brand kit. So the templates for the emails that are branded will have your logo and colors. To do that, head on over to your settings here. Go to my account. Under my account, I'll go to brand kit, and this is where you're going to set it up. So you're gonna add your logo, your colors, and your social links. That way you're gonna view these in the templates. So in the templates for the email, they have some nice looking ones for the staff picks. Now, if these fit your needs for your business, go ahead and use one of these, or use one of the branded ones that have the logo and colors and social links that you previously set up on your brand kit. Now, once that's done, we are gonna enable some automations, okay? Now in automations, there's several of these available. You can do the welcome series, the abandoned card, thank you for purchase, product review to remind them, win back, and the browse abandonment is gonna come soon. And if you enable these, well, you're good to go. Now, next thing I would recommend is setting up a form just in case if you wanna enable that. Now these forms are really nice looking pop-ups that you can set up. Let me preview this one. And you're gonna view that this is, looks interesting and flashy. This is for desktop and this is the mobile view. Now, if we select one of these, we can go ahead and use this and we're gonna be able to edit it. So let's just say test and oh, I'm gonna add it to one of the lists. So it's gonna be added to the new. Save and continue. So everyone that signs up here is gonna go to that specific list. So I would create a list that has to do with form. That way you can recognize when you send out campaigns or automations. Now this is where you're gonna set it up and you can go ahead and embed it, pop up, fly out, and the trigger, we want to load it on page load. So that means that when the page load is just going to load the based on rules, you can set up some rules here. So show all five seconds after page load or percentage of scroll. Now, when you scroll 30%, it's going to pop up. Now I would recommend using base rules on my personal opinion. Why? Because you don't want to show them a pop up when they just jump into the, the page because that's annoying. Maybe they're not interested or it just makes them go away. So if they stay for longer than X amount of seconds, well, you're gonna show them the pop-up. That way you know that they're gonna be interested in. Now you can go ahead and set all this up. Go ahead and preview this. If you're good to go, hit next. Select the allow domains that you want to use, the code snippet to embed, and you're good to go and publish that, okay? So let's go ahead and get out of here. Um, we don't wanna save that for now. And once you have a form ready, obviously that's gonna pop up. Aside from obviously the contacts that are getting added from the card abandonment, the welcome, etc., or the people who purchase from your store. Now, if you wanna send out a campaign because you have something to let users know, your clients or potential clients that something's coming, a discount, Black Friday, etc., we can go ahead and start a campaign by creating this one. Now, there's two available campaigns, the email campaign and the SMS. I'm going to show you the email campaign. And I'm just gonna name this something random. Obviously, you add something interesting. Now, if you don't have ideas for something interesting, I recommend that you use Tiny Einstein. I actually made a video on that one, so if you wanna check it out, there's a video to the link in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. Like I said, it's just a test. We're gonna select the sender. Those senders are, are added here in the settings. I'm gonna go ahead and save this sender. Here we go, we're gonna continue. Now let's go ahead and select one of the designs and I'm gonna use one of my branded designs. So um, this one looks okay, summer collection. I can go ahead and preview this or use it right away. If I know what I'm gonna use, just go ahead and select it. And this is gonna open up the designer. Now, 
If you previously obviously worked on these on the templates, well, you're good to go. But if you wanna make it customized, you can do so from here. You can go ahead and change all of this, use all the settings from the appearance, from the stripes, the headings, the buttons, the, the mobile format, the content. If you want to add some images, text, etc., get rid of something like this. If you want to uh, move it from the sections, all of that will be available right here. Once you design it the way you like it, you can go ahead and send a test to preview it, obviously on an email, or if you're good to go, go ahead and continue. You're going to select the audience. And in this case, for example, new is tied to a form that I created, which is me. I don't want to send it to someone else right now, or you can add an audience right here. But if you have one, go ahead and select it, continue. There we go. So here's the details, the footer message. If you want to edit that, the schedule, if you want to schedule it. So let's just say that you want, you don't want to send it right now. You can go ahead and set that up. Here we go. Set the date. Or if you want to send it right now, you can do so, right? So send it now, schedule, or just save it for later. So that's how easy it is to send out a campaign. So once you send out one of these campaigns, I'm not going to save that. You're going to view your dashboard for all the information right here. So you're going to see the deliverability and the engagement, the audience, there's no integrations added right now. And all that information that's going to help you out. If it's SMS, we'll view it here, WhatsApp or push, we'll view it there. Okay. Now also there's some integrations that are interesting aside from obviously connecting to, to the CMS, which is for example, email providers. If you want to set, bring in those contacts, there's a CRM the payments forms and others. Okay. So you have all that available to obviously make integrations. Plus it connects to Zapier, Pavli Connect, which basically gives you a whole world of integrations that you want to use. Okay. And once you have your, obviously all the context, you're going to view the audience right here from people who are signing up, people who purchased, people who fill out the forms, the subscriptions, the coupons, etc. We're going to view them all right here. So like I said, you can do everything from right here. If you're using Shopify, or if you want to use it from the main dashboard over here, if you do want to set it up over there, it's up to you how you want to do it. But it's super easy to start using email campaigns and automating with tiny email. So if you want to take advantage of it, I'll leave the link in the description so you can head on over there and check it out for yourself. And that's a wrap.